And we're back. Here's a couple more items that I sold on eBay. Most of these are found at Goodwill and thrift stores, maybe some garage sales. Uh, oh, also offer up Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, let go. And that's about it. So I think we left off about on this date, December 5th, 2018. So here is one item that I found at a Goodwill for, I believe, $3.99. It's a tablet for Xbox. I was only able to plug it in. I wasn't really sure if it was working. But, uh, yeah, sold. $19.89, free shipping. So, not too bad. Let's go on to the next one. Probably cost me, I think I shipped this one first class, so maybe route four dollars, four fifty to ship this. Plus the four that I had into it. So let's say I made maybe eight dollars, nine dollars. Alright. Here we have a Oakley backpack. This one sold. I think within a week or two weeks that I after I posted it up, found it at Goodwill again. Um, this says sixty dollars. Ended up selling it for thirty-two. Free shipping. I believe it sold also first class. It was pretty light, so four dollars. Uh, I picked this up for. I want to say six dollars. If it had to be, yeah, about six five ninety nine. Something like that. Next, here we go. Iron Maiden Visions of the Beast 666 jersey, extra large. This actually went to Hawaii. Uh, the print on the front was a little bit flaking off, but the embroidery patch here is pretty legit. And it has a nice design throughout the jer jersey as well. You can see it better here. Pretty cool find at a uh, Goodwill. Uh, I believe I picked this up for four dollars. Three ninety nine. I should have kept it. Some of these things I should keep because like I've never seen this before. Anyway. Sold for forty seven seventy seven. Shipped to Hawaii first class. So for about three dollars, three fifty, or so. Here we have a Disney Parks Tigger pillow. Found this guy at you guessed it, Goodwill. Had the tags on it, very clean, looked brand new. Um, I always mark these as used, just because you know they've been with I don't know, they could be dirty, and I don't really wash them unless they're really dirty. And if they're new, well, I don't wash it because it still has a tag. But I'll use a wipe or some alcohol if any of them are dirty. Uh, if you guys have any tips on how to wash stuffed animals, I'll probably check out some YouTube videos. But let me know. Let me know how you wash them. Or do you buy stuffed animals to resell? Hmm. Well, anyway, this one I bought for $3.99 and sold for $34. Uh, I think this one shipped um, priority mail six something because it shipped to I want to say California uh, and I am in California so it wasn't that expensive so I got lucky on that one because if it shipped somewhere further away it would have been at least maybe ten dollars or so so yeah now we have some Star Wars stance socks. This is a weird pack here. Uh, it comes with three socks and I get messages asking if it's a, uh, well I should change that to, to say three socks. But um, yeah, they asked me if it's three pairs. But anyway, three sold so far. I've dropped the price a little bit. I do have shipping on here. Oh, and I have a couple watchers. Maybe I'll drop a little more um, just to start getting rid of them. But yeah, anyway. 
Uh, here's a little uh, train that I found in a box of trains at Goodwill for $10 and they've just been selling singles here and there so this one sold for eight uh, I kind of made only like a couple dollars maybe two or three dollars on this one but hey whatever uh, the <laughs> this little doll man he's so cool I don't know he's uh, he's everywhere I keep finding him at Goodwill and these cups I've probably had them for a couple months and one sold I have a brown one and then this one sold so yeah, I, I, I think I spent a dollar on both 50 cents each so yeah, not too bad here we go with the Sims Sims 2 bundle lot I found a few of these games at Goodwill and I pretty much bought them all because they I think they were a dollar each and they had a few and they looked brand new like they weren't used or anything and they all had the CD key and everything so I assume that they work I'm not too sure how I've never played Sims so yeah oh man I didn't even write a description what? that's weird crazy anyway I guess my photos you know there you go so anyway, bought these. I think this was yeah four games for four dollars. Sold for thirty one. I might have shipped priority mail, so about seven dollars. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh from Disneyland. <laughs> uh, I've been finding a lot of stuffed animals lately, and here's one, it's Winnie the Pooh. I found him for two ninety nine and sold for nineteen eighty four. Pretty sure he sold uh, first class, 14 inch, maybe. Um, ah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta have a list of shipping prices here on the next video to get a correct, uh, you know, profit. But let's just say shipped for six, bottom for three. That's nine. Ten profit minus the two for eBay. Uh, maybe about seven dollars I got there for young Pooh Bear, not too shabby. Bialetti, Bialetti. Anyway, Mocha Pot Espresso Maker. Uh, there's this funny uh, Instagram account where this thing here has a its own Instagram account, and it goes. Wherever it goes, it takes a photo, and it's just like a photo of this and a cool background, <laughs> and it's hilarious to me. Anyway, found this one at Goodwill, two or three dollars, I believe. Sold for twenty nine and shipped for about uh, seven or eight dollars. Not too bad. Here's a Sesame Street. Word up to Big Bird. Uh, I used to have this cup as a kid. Uh, some would say I'm still a kid, but you know. Anyway, found this one at Goodwill <laughs> and had to pick it up because I used to have this and the plate, I believe. But this one I kind of gave it away. I bought this for a dollar. Probably cost me three fifty to ship. Eh, I guess not. Got a couple bucks. Some more stance boxers. This one was pretty cool. I didn't end up keeping any of these, but that little sugar skull is nice. Uh, anyway, they keep selling. Um, I have like about maybe eight left, eight boxers left. I had about 100 something. I can't remember how many I had. A lot. Through the Bible. Here we go. This one sold. Uh, I knew it would sell, but so no surprise. It was just funny. Um, the guy actually just left feedback. He's put great price, uh, great uh, item, I think. Twenty-seven seventy-seven shipped. Shipped uh, medium mail. Medium mail is fun because it's very cheap. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, here's a Canon G twenty. Uh, like. In the previous videos, I, I buy these mostly on Facebook or OfferUp. 
and sometimes Craigslist, but Craigslist, uh, a lot of people ask way too much. But no, actually I found a, a few on there, so you know, you just gotta keep looking, look them up. I have a lot of alerts set up so I can find these for cheap. Or you just ask as well, like if somebody has their price very high like me, <laughs> here, uh, you can ask me, uh, would you sell it for 400 and I'll probably say no, but you know, you never know, somebody might say yes. And that's how I go about uh, asking people on offer up. If there's, like, say, when I find one of these for three hundred, um, I already know that's pretty much a good deal because I could sell them here for five. But I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna start off with maybe, hey, you know, um, can you do two hundred or something? And then maybe they'll say, oh yeah, I'll take two fifty or something. Meet me halfway. And I'll be like, sure, perfect. I'll, when can I pick it up? <laughs> and yeah, so this one, I I think I bought this one for maybe 300 or 250 So not, not too bad on that one. I have one more left, I think. And I also have a Canon G20 or G40. Um, but yeah, this is like the fourth one in the month of December that I've sold. Or third or something like that. Explorer. Here's the white guitars that used to sell good. These, I mean, there's a lot of people that sell them right now at this moment, but they sell pretty good. This one had a loose whammy, and then I tried it, and I actually returned this guitar to, to Goodwill because I thought it didn't work, but it was actually this little dongle here, I guess. The connection that goes to the Xbox that I have wasn't working so I thought it didn't work but I guess it does work so I might go back and buy it but anyway ended up telling them that I was going to send them one with a bunch of stickers on it uh, that did work and they were fine with that so uh, still made the sale um, I picked these up for about five dollars shipping on these is usually about fourteen dollars unless it's going to like California or somewhere close to me so there goes 15, that's 30, minus the 5, 25. So yeah, not too bad. Maybe about $18 there. I don't know, my math is kind of wonky. Oh, and here's the brown cup here. Um, this guy, like I said, he's really cool. I have a plush, I have plush animals or stuffed animals of him and this little dude right here, I found one. Pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I got this one for 50 cents. And yeah, I probably shipped first class, hopefully. So, yep. Here's some more stents. Uh, oh, these are the socks. These are some Allen Iverson socks. The socks are selling slowly but surely. Uh, they're going. This one sold for 13 and I added shipping, so not too bad. I think I have, oh, I think I only had one of these, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I have a ton of socks left, so gotta get those going. Here's another one, not too bad. I think I paid around 250 for these socks each, so some sell for more, some I'm happy to sell some that are less, like these are only $12, so like the Allen Iverson ones, I think were a little bit more. So yeah, not too bad. Um, looks like I only have one more of these. These are selling for a good, cool price, not too bad. I've already sold three of them, last one. That should shell, sell pretty soon. Oh, iPhone X <laughs> or 10 or whatever. What the? Maybe my descriptions just aren't popping up here just because this is the sold page, but I should have had a description. Anyway, this one sold to somebody here locally in LA, Los Angeles, and uh, I picked up two of these and I had them for a long, well not a long time, maybe about a month because I was waiting for the previous owner to... I don't know, just deal with Sprint. Sprint is kind of crazy with unlocking phones. But I, I mean, maybe not, I don't know. But finally everything got handled 
and uh, I ended up finally listing it and it sold pretty fast um, yeah I bought this for I bought two of them actually from the same person and I got them for 425 each and yeah I paid a little bit for them it was my first time buying the iPhone 10 <coughs> uh, or two of them I guess like trying to buy it in bulk or, uh, I don't know I don't know how people buy uh, iPhones for very very cheap I've tried a little bit here and there um, I'm just like you know there's a lot of scammers out there a lot of people that don't pay their bills or you know it's just it's crazy especially buying like the newer phones the newer iPhones or whatever anyway bought this one for 425 sold it for 645 eBay taxed me a lot on this one 10 let's just say 10% of 645 6450 6 uh, $64.50 so that's uh you know anyway take that however you want to take it <laughs> that's all i gotta say and i ended up selling my personal iphone 10 that i bought uh on offer up that i was going to originally keep for myself uh, i bought an iphone 10 on on off oh no this one i bought on uh facebook actually and uh so I bought one on Facebook and the back was cracked and I had no problem with it because I ended up picking up that phone for $400. And that was a couple months ago, so it was still not old, well, I, I don't know. Anyway, it was a couple months ago. And then recently I ended up dropping it and cracking the front, <laughs> which really sucked and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't deal with seeing the crack right here and so i ended up selling that one locally on offer up i think that was two days ago and i ended up selling it cracked for five hundred dollars and i picked it up for four i was very happy about that let me just tell you anyway so i ended up keeping one of these so i have one that is not cracked i have it in the case and i have the screen protector on it so yeah Hopefully that goes well. Anyway, this was kind of a long rant on this sale here. Next. Ooh, next is the, another Guitar Hero Explorer white one. This one was brand new. Or, well, not brand new actually. It just had the box. Uh, but anyway, it looked brand new. Came with the game. It had the little dongle thingy. And yeah, sold for 75. I bought this one for, for um, offer up for 15. Uh, so yeah not too bad that was a good deal uh, this one's uh, shipped for 14 so 15 15 30 uh, yeah 45 <laughs> minus 7 uh, yeah uh, let's just say 35 call it a 35 35 dollars all right we got one more of these 10 here got some more socks Gengar from Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Found them for $3.99 at a Goodwill. Probably about four months ago. A while back. And yeah, finally sold. See ya. Bye bye. Some more socks. You already know. Uh, some ink. Ink that I found at Goodwill. This one expired this year, and this one expired a couple years ago, five years ago, and they still bought it. I put this one for free, pretty much. I pretty much priced it for just this, and I said in the description that I was going to add in a free one, just in case it worked, uh, and then they get a free freebie. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, I paid uh, two ninety nine for this one, and maybe two ninety nine for this one. <laughs> Uh, or maybe less, maybe a dollar ninety nine. Can't remember. Uh, ooh, T three I Canon T three I. This one I bought off of some guy in Riverside off of OfferUp, and he wanted to let it go for I think one fifty or one twenty five, and yeah. So yeah, I always pick these up, but you have to be fast, especially right now. Um, you have to just as soon as you see it. Hit a bump, 
throw out your offer or if the price is good just say hey when can I pick this up because there's you know people are fast out there I've missed a lot of deals and it sucks <laughs> but I can't buy them all I try but you know whatever some more socks there we go uh, we have a Webster dictionary this guy already left a good feedback yeah this one I found for like two dollars at Goodwill plus three ship yeah not too bad this one I found at the same Goodwill I believe and um, yeah, this was $5.99 uh, almost wanted to keep it but I don't do any kind of work like this but it was pretty nice Five ninety nine, sixty nine. Um, I can't remember where this went to, but it was somewhere, somewhere cool. So this was a good one. Uh, probably shipped for ten dollars. Uh, it wasn't too heavy, but um, it didn't go too far, I think. And yeah, fifteen in to seventy. Not bad. Jack Daniel's cup. I've had this for a while. Um, I let this one go for cheap. Probably almost free check out my listings <laughs> sometimes stuff is well not free but you know pretty cheap like if you were to go into the store and buy it uh, and it just gets to arrive at your house instead sold uh, oh yeah this is a cool one I wanted to keep this one too but you know I can't really keep things anymore it's very hard this one had some uh, rechargeable batteries inside as well, and I let them go. I left them in there. Why? I do not know. Um, yeah, I should have charged shipping on this one. I bought this for four ninety nine or three ninety nine, and yeah, I think I paid seven ship. So yeah, not too bad. But I could have had that seven extra. I've I've been missing out on a lot of. Uh, you know, I've been paying a lot of shipping, and I'm starting to wonder why. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, some more Stance socks. I see another one coming up here. And, oh man, this Pokemon game. So I kind of messed up on this uh, order here. There, There's supposed to be another order, but it was canceled, or it was a return because uh, one of them was an empty box. I think I put it in my last video. And one of them was this game. And I messed up and I shipped, I mismatched the shipping label. So the guy that ordered this game got the box and he messaged me right away like, hey, you sent me an empty box. And then the guy that ordered the box got the game and I had to message him and say, hey, if you can, please send the box back. So anyway, big mix up, one of the first, or the first time that I did that. And um, yeah, I just offered to actually send it back. Like once I received both items back, I told them that I would sh still ship the item to them free of charge because I got both the items, the game and the box on the same, like for the same. Uh, so this game was in the other box and it cost me four ninety nine. So. I'm losing out a little bit, but throughout all the profit that I've gained, um, shipping these back to them for free, uh, you know, it's not it's not really a big deal. So I'll do that. <laughs> My mistake. And lastly, because this video has probably gone on for too long, is uh, the Ryobi or Ryobi. Uh, sander and I found this at Goodwill for $4.99 and it was brand new I should have kept it but before I even got to decide if I want to keep it uh, it sold so yeah and here's another example of why I should charge shipping um, because this one probably sold for maybe or shipped for 10 at least 10 bucks oh no you probably you know what I probably shipped it in uh, so it was probably about eight dollars so not too bad I guess but like again a couple extra dollars I could have had and let's see what we have here oh we got Moana and uh, a guitar sold so cool alright I think that's it guys <laughs>